Okay, hey Alan, we're going to go down this wall and um, give you an opportunity to talk about each piece as we come up on them. Sure, sure. So uh, what about this uh, this tall one here? Yeah, this is um, you know a piece that I that um, you know I designed to not be on the wall but to lean against the wall. I mean, I, I conceived of it that way. Um, I, and it's somewhat unique. I was doing a series of pieces that did hang on the wall where I had holes in them so that there's this whole kind of dialogue between the, you know, the, the, the physicality of the pieces that, you know, that have a, a real physical presence in their edge and have a sense of visual as well as um, physical weight. And then, you know, I, I wanted these square holes to then have this kind of almost both, well, to work both as like this kind of graphic quality on the, on the surface as well has had this sort of mysterious um, and both mysterious as well as kind of revealing quality of, you know, going back through uh, and seeing, seeing the wall behind. Um, and uh, what about the surface too? Um, I'm seeing, boy, I'm really seeing your hand in this one. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of see the, uh, you know, the, you, hopefully there's, you know, some, there, 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 you can see the um, sort of physical history of, um, of the motion. You know, so kind of like just like in a painting where you see the gesture of the paintbrush, mm -hmm. a lot of what you're seeing here is the gesture of the, the plaster tools, the drywall tools. Um, of really applying the plaster and the various levels where they're all kind of pigmented slightly differently. Um, then all this sort of little black flecks, which are mm -hmm. again one of those kind of happy accidents that happen. And this was just literally some black pigment that didn't mix well for whatever reason. Um, but I think they become really um, very gestural. Um, and uh, you know both the big swirly shapes of the various kind of reddish, warmish browns, as well as the you know the black flecks yeah. in this piece and in this piece, which I you know I kind of make made at the same time. I tend to work on a couple pieces mm -hmm. at the same time, both because there's you know just sort of the economy of doing the wood part and doing the plaster part, but um, um, as well as the fact that there's, there's a number of pieces I make that I kind of just reject because it just didn't work out. But um, uh, I did these two pieces together. Um, so they're very, very similar palette. And sometimes you mix up too much plaster and you say, well, I'll put some on th this next piece. and. Um, that's a sort of bit, always been my process, as well as kind of making smaller pieces along with bigger pieces. Um, oh, I see. Uh huh. But uh, um, is there a with the line across the middle? By the way, I think it's very interesting how the sun interacts. With yeah, you. yeah. The sun, my skylights are uh, <laughs> great. You know, they allow us to be in the studio right now with. You know, you know, on a decently bright day, or even an overcast day with no artificial lights, but oh, the downside of them, well, yeah. upside and downside, it makes these cool shapes. Right. It's hard to work on this wall. I kind of work more on the wall over here, although things seem to be pretty much stacked up there right now. <laughs> um, but even that, during certain times of the day, I can't work on parts of the wall because mm -hmm. the light is so bright from the skylight. So it's both the, you know, the blessing and the curse. Um, but going back to what you're saying yeah. about the line, you know, the line is just, a, you know, there's two pieces here, obviously. It's a diptych, mm -hmm. but, um, uh, and they're both, you know, three foot by three foot, but, there's a couple things that are going on here. I mean, there's the, the, uh, I, I, I think that there's a, 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 almost a tension because these pieces look and are very heavy 
of this piece sitting on the ice. So hopefully there's like a, a visual tension of these pieces coming together. Yeah. And something hopefully kind of evocative in that in that line with that rough edge, which is you know, so it's both the symmetry and as well as kind of that uh, um, you know, the, the there's a sense of tension, I think, in these lines here. There's a relationship, too. Absolutely. Right? It's Absolutely. just so interesting yeah. how just this is what's so beautiful about abstract art is that that delicate line is a jumping off point, can be for some people who are like, wow, that's a re like a relationship symbol. It's such a vulnerable, it's going in and out, they're kissing. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, it's really true, Sean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's so there's something. there's both um, there's a codependency uh -huh. in a positive way um, in this piece, but also when you have that you know that line between them, mm -hmm. like you know it's just a long tradition of diptychs and triptychs, right? Yeah, Christian art and you know for millennium where um, there's a totality. But there's also a separation. Ah, um, ah, yeah. And I think that's one of the reasons that diptychs and triptychs work yeah. so well. Right. Right. And when there's not imagery and there's not the sort of symbolism in there as in Christian art, mm -hmm. um, especially with triptychs, um, you still get this, you know, there, there's there's a metaphor there, right? Right. Or, you know, separate and you know, like relationships, right? Oh. There's separate separate parts that m still make up a whole. It's really so, beautiful piece. Thanks. It's fun to talk about it because now I'm like all of a sudden inspired to make That's some right. more difference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this piece over here, um, like the tall one, is meant to you know is it's it's meant to uh, sit on the floor and lean against the wall. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the pigment is the, the coloration is all from um, mixing dyes in. Uh, in the plaster, so there's lots of layers of of, uh, of blues uh, built up and scraped down, um, and you know, again, there's you know both the sort of the physicality of it being one, as well as this you know and having this presence from far away, from across the room, or when you but as you approach it, um, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of information to read. Um, close up. Yeah, I, I guess like most artists, um, you know, I want the work to work hopefully from afar and have a certain presence, but then also have when you come up close, get into that world, get into, you know, the little world here, the little world of this more organic edge against the flat plane and, you know, where they intersect and see all the various textures and um, subtle and not so subtle um, value shifts. Um, those are also things that I, you know, that, that I think about as I'm making these pieces. And it's what interests me in looking at other art as well as architecture and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. walls. And when I go traveling, seeing plaster and stucco walls and temples and, mm. and historic sites that have deteriorated where you see that sense of history um, and that's some of the things I'm after it's, it's some uh, you have so much to think about and you do it I think mostly in the subconscious level as well because you've been yeah. doing it for so long yeah um, yeah it's an interesting thing uh, the, uh, yeah, I, recently I, I was I, I was just thinking like why do I why have I been dealing with this kind of organic edge for so long? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I started, you know, there's many reasons, and maybe it, maybe there's a lot of metaphor and symbolism in that in terms of my own personal history, or is it just my attraction of what I look in the world? Mm -hmm. Not really sure, but, um, you know, I've been at this for a while, and yeah. I have, you know, while I've done a lot of, you know, and there's a couple examples in the studio here of more, um, you know, more straight um, painting. A lot of them are really buried, but, you know, paintings that are, that are um, you know, pretty much a flat surface, although I tend to distort one or two edges there. Mm -hmm. um, 
but you know, I, I've always been attracted to the edges. I've never painted on canvas. There's always kind of an object quality to the works that are more about painting. Um, but most of these works here are, um, you know, while they refer to painting, they're, they're, there's something else uh, going on because of their physicality. My gosh, this last one is a beauty. Oh, thanks, Sharon. Um, wow. Yeah, I think this is done. I think I finally just finished the, uh, <laughs> the, you know, the surface. And this, again, this is more, um, you know, there's some subtle dyeing of the plasters here, and there's some subtle color shifts both in the, in the, in the numbers of whites as well as some of the first layers having these kind of grays and pinks mixed in the plaster that just, you know, you just sort of hopefully will, when you come up close and look at it, you discover. Um, but uh, it's, um, but you don't get slapped on it. You know, you don't see it right away. It's, some, it's something that's part of that committing to investigate, to spend some time looking at it. Yeah. So, um, you know. A, a real reward for staying. Well, that's, yeah. yeah. Hopefully it's a reward. I appreciate <laughs> you saying that. The you know, line it's, it's, against the wall is beautiful. Yeah, wow. thank you. Thanks. It's really, um, um, again, there's so what happens, I think, in this piece that, you know, the surface, while there's a lot of texture here, it's not a perfect surface. It's certainly smoother than this edge here of this kind of plank-like form mm -hmm. coming away from the wall so that there's, you know, I think my intention was in this piece, and I just, just this is like the first one. I've got a smaller one mm -hmm. uh, that I'm working on at the same time. Um, it's kind of a new, another direction, another series that I want to explore of doing these forms that are just attached to the wall in a narrow space and right. kind of coming off the wall. So there's a tension in that in and of itself. Mm -hmm. um, but also there's, um, you know, then another tension between the plane of the wall and this plane here that's, so there's this, you know, while well, there's a dialogue between this smoother surface here and this more textured organic surface of this edge here, there's also some kind of visual tension between the wall and this edge here. Mm -hmm. um, this is great. I want to just sort of take this other side in. Sure. And, uh, and then pull away and really show the viewers the elegance, the simple elegance of the piece all by itself in a singular shot.